demo, which was uh, leukocyte free. And, and this is something that the, the group has to investigate and um, um, look at the data and also put out for additional studies. I'm sure they'll be aware of that when they, yes. when they look at that. Yes, we are very much aware of those, those uh, aspects. Thanks. And just as a, to close the loop as well, I did tell Jerry we will immediately make Dr. Peterson's presentation available to him. And if you haven't met Dr. Peterson, we're happy he's in the back, as well as I believe I saw Mr. and Mrs. Whittemore come in as well. So uh, those might be good folks for you to meet as you're here in person, Jerry. Okay. Uh, Again, I'm sorry, I just wanted to make no, that no, connection. I, 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 I would, uh, I would love presents. to have you walk out and, and shake hands and, and get to know, if you don't, the, those people that we were very um, appreciative to their efforts in maybe coming to some answers for this disease that we all would like to see go. All right. Um, uh, if there's no further questions, uh, we really do thank you we know what pressures you're under <laughs> and how busy you are, uh, but we really do thank you for coming to us. And our recommendations, hopefully, will be reflective uh, of support for what you're going to be doing. Uh, the, this may be, with some of the work you're doing and more of the work of the Whitmore Group, um, finally coming to some real answers on, on, a, on an illness that has hurt so many Americans. A Thank you. Absolutely. I could not agree with you more. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, John. Yeah, um, we're going to uh, continue then. Um, I noticed as uh, I tried to read the document that um, Wanda produced that there are some that we maybe need to really go back and look at uh, that may be totally impractical now or maybe need to be totally reworked. Uh, in particular, where we have recommendations that the funding levels to the CDC uh, uh, on the third page, uh, uh, some of the things that we wanted done uh, creation of guidelines for adults and, and children, uh, managed apartments I thought was, was very good, but I, I'm not sure it, it does us any good any longer to suggest um, uh, monies and levels of support <coughs> to any particular agency. That might have been a mistake we made. So do we want to discuss then these recommendations that may be controversial and we'd like to amend? Jerry? Uh, Chris, Chris, oh. Chris, Tom, Tom, <laughs> Tom, and Jerry. Oh, thank you. oh. <laughs> um, Mike I, and Jeff. I, I, I took a quick look at the CDC's website last night, and they they have their five-year plan up there, uh, and uh, th there's a lot of stuff in there that potentially could cost a lot of money. Uh, but but what I didn't see was a prioritization which might be a, an issue that we, we want to discuss at this point uh, about how that five-year plan is going to be prioritized, whether any changes potentially are going to be made to the five-year plan based upon the amazing things that have happened here over the last couple of days mm -hmm. uh, and, and what the next step would be to, to implement that. Okay. I, I would agree. That's why I wanted to bring it up. Um, uh, not to put you on the spot, Michael, but, but you're here and um, we made a number of recommendations. Early on it was supporting CDC's efforts, especially its educating and, the, and getting the message out, working with the Chronic Fatigue and Efficiency Group uh, about the faces of, of, of chronic fatigue syndrome. Some of the issues now have changed, especially with the information. Would you like to uh, comment on on what you, you would hope we would do as far as our recommendations that in some cases even gave amounts of funding that should go to CDC and that which may be impractical now? Um, I'm not sure how to um, respond in that manner because, uh, you know, the purpose of the committee is to make recommendations to the secretary. <clears throat> so the discussion of the details of 
uh, the CDC activities are certainly welcome um, at uh, subcommittees and, and here, but I, I um, from a personal standpoint, I, I hope that we are able to make some positive changes based on this excellent discovery. Uh, I hope that it is um, uh, confirmed. And I hope that a lot of laboratories are able to get together and um, make something work out of this. And, uh, but I can't tell you, of course, looking down the road, I can't tell you what will be changed or how it would be changed. Um, I don't know that um, requesting specific funding um, is effective to the secretary. Uh, that has to come from Congress, and that's probably not an I don't know one that may not be an appropriate thing to discuss uh, at this level. So, um, Since there's no we, proposed legislation, you can yeah. say in general. We are accountable to Congress every year for our CFS activities. We have to provide a report to Congress on them. Um, uh, but uh, th what this committee can do, I think I actually have listed several things that I sent to uh, Lenny and to the subcommittee. Um, that can be discussed uh, from the research scientific side, but I don't have any specific uh, suggestions on what to change at this point. That would be a, a lot of people talking together. I, I, I'm, my specific thought was that you know, you know, we, we might recommend priorities from the five-year plan that, that we think. Okay, we were never asked to prioritize that five-year plan. No. Uh, that's a strategic, big, broad look. And, Strategic plans sometimes are made, um, I mean, you, you try to think um, big and broad without the limitations of budget, which is a real thing. And we do have those real limitations. But in five years, we do not know what our budget allocations will be. In fact, we don't even have our budget allocation for 2010. Uh, we don't know what that's going to be. So I, I just can't comment on that. I don't think this is an appropriate place to guess what, what we might be provided. And just one quick word on dollar amounts. And again, every advisory committee goes this way, you know, $2 million for this, $5 million for that. And while that may be a ballpark figure or a dream figure, do we fail if we get a million? Is, is that failure? You know, because we could identify resources. We're moving in that direction, and there's maybe no evidence for what. So it's that fine balance between a committee being so granular and expecting a $5 million or short of that is failure or movement in that direction. I think the subsequent recommendations um, that speak in terms of scope and overall objective that um, you know, allow that discretion? Are we meeting those objectives? Because today's dollars are different from 2005 or different. So, good. Okay. I, I just wanted to be clear and to sort of... We, we don't have expertise on account, yeah, exactly. accounting, but, but yeah. presumably we have some expertise yeah, on chronic fatigue syndrome, so we could, we could suggest, strongly suggest priorities that exactly. for, for funding should it become one, available. One more item on the priority issue. The document is not necessarily prioritized, but the program, I can't speak for the program, I'm sure that they have priority items that they want to complete. And XMRV has very quickly risen uh, to a higher priority. Well, uh, hopefully obviously. our pro priority list yeah, will coincide yeah, right. and then it'll be... Uh... Right, so um, what, you've, what you see on the website, we, um, you know, it's not a one, two, three, four priority. Um, so the program itself would prioritize it, this part. It, it could be seen like that, though. If, yes, and it can change. Priorities change. And unfortunately, when you put things on websites and uh, in, in writing, that very often puts them in uh, kind of concrete. And then uh, we, we, we prefer not to do that, if possible. Mm -hmm. um, Morris and then Lynn. Morris? No, I was just going to I was just going to mention that uh, the XMRV is already in the uh, CDC plan, plan strategic plan. So obviously you, you're already thinking about in that direction. And the only thing that we need to do as a, as a committee, I think, is to ensure that what we feel is the or where we feel is the where the money is uh, that we emphasize that to the to the secretary 
as well as to the CDC, that uh, we as the committee who are the 